Hi everybody, this is Danny Rabin from Marbin, and this is Fusion Guitar Lesson Episode 5. Uh, today I'd like to discuss a subdivision that not everybody knows how to use, but uh, maybe you should figure it out. It's uh, sticking 10 notes inside one beat. Now this is a really powerful tool in Fusion. If you like Alan Holdsworth, Sean Lane, uh, people like that, they play sometimes these things. They're a great vehicle for uh, dissonant chromatic playing, and it's a very misunderstood type of concept uh, because may the brain might interpret what's happening rhythmically as just fast, you know, or chaotic, and then maybe your mind will tell you you need to transcribe the notes and find the fingerings that they're playing. But if you don't understand conceptually what's happening in the rhythm, you're never going to get it together. Now, let me just give some examples of what 10 notes inside one beat sound like. Okay? Here's a backing track, just a drum groove in 70 beats per minute, which is pretty slow, a slow rock groove. So here are the 10s. One, two. Oh. So if you've heard any Holdsworth, you've heard this sound before, and maybe you've just categorized it as something, uh, you know, that's you know a harmony thing rather than a rhythm thing, which is a very common thing to do. But let's discuss what, what's happening there and why it's so atypical. So when you hear a groove like that, if you just think about what most people will play, if I, let's, let's say, just play 16th notes, uh, it has this effect, right? It sounds like maybe... And, it, and if I try to use some more outside notes using those 16th notes, they're going to pop out. It's not, it doesn't, it, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't tuck into the rhythm in a nice way. Now, the faster it is, it's true, the more you can get away with. Like if I were to play 30 second notes, eight notes per beat. I can get away with more and I can tuck things in and use more passing tones and chromatic things and make it sound like fusion. But still, it's not... 30-second notes are not a great vehicle for whatever you want. But once, st once you start introducing groups of 10 and these odd things, the rhythm itself is so intense that you could literally play anything there. And if you can seamlessly in integrate that into the rhythmic flow of your solo, you can get away with it. So... Okay, so we've established that it's uh, good if you're interested in that kind of sound. Now let's talk about how to pull it off on the guitar. What I tend to do, and when I, what I think when I look at Alan play, the physicality of his playing, uh, you know, the, the, the places he's playing notes, and Sean Lane too, other, like other people I've mentioned, what you see is that they really don't go against the grain of playing guitar. And some of the patterns on guitar, especially when you're playing on one string, really lend themselves to groups of five. So if I just use three notes ascending, two notes descending on a string, 
I get this pattern of five notes, right? Let's say I'm starting on the, that's, it's arbitrary, but anyway, but the fifth fret of the G string, and I'm going uh, from that C to a D to an E, and back down. I get one, two, three, four, five, right? So those are the kinds of patterns I'm going to be talking about, meaning the kinds of patterns, I mean, you can play with the notes. It could be all chromatic. It could be this, 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 wider ones. But the contour is just, you know, three notes up, two notes down. Now, rhythmically, you want to be able to, first of all, execute them as a quintuplet, meaning in half time, meaning five notes per beat. So, so on this tempo, it'll be ta 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 So what you want to do is just hold that quarter note with your index finger, right? Maybe play... Just right playing mm. Dom Bum 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 And then I wanna throw that pattern in, meaning But that pattern is just an extension physically with legato of that of that rhythm that I'm holding down with my index finger. So I'm just gonna use one chromatic pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 pow. Now to get to those tens, I'm gonna have to start imagining What's my, what my index is doing in double time, meaning play eighth notes there. So instead of going, I'm gonna go. And now that automatic pattern is just gonna follow. Now check this out on this group. So I played a Dorian there, I played a diatonic, but you could do it as chromatic as you want, right? I'm just going to use a pattern and move it around. Check this out. So if I was just sort of improvising a solo, home for me would probably be 16th notes, 32nd notes, and this would be more of an effect, but I could really, you know, use that as a vehicle for all of my weird out there cascading kind of falling downstairs lines. So here's the transition between just normal improvising like 16th note, uh, 32nd note, sextuplet world into that. Notice what I did there. I went dagga 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 d
double quintuplets or 10 notes, right? So... <laughs> So that that's the idea. Uh, really cool to use it with maybe practicing with whole tone where those kind of one you know one string at a time patterns are really easy. Uh, something I really like to do is use, let's say I'm playing on a minor chord like A minor. Uh, the whole tone starting on the fifth meaning it's the whole tone that doesn't have the root in it. So if I'm thinking about E whole tone on A minor, I get E, F sharp, G sharp, B flat, and C, and then D over an A minor. So it doesn't have an A in it, but it ju it's basically melodic minor with a flat nine sound. But, uh, you know, if you're playing on an A minor, it has these notes. Here's your root. So, but th the idea is just to have a symmetric pattern you can move, and it's nice. It sounds like this. That's obviously a lot of that, and in a solo, I probably wouldn't use quite that much, but as bits and pieces of it would be cool, like... Cool. Hope you can use it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, click the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.